Okay, this is the transport museum, guys. This is one of the best transport museums in Britain. Okay? Coventry was the home of car making, okay? And we're very famous for making cars in the past, okay? Admission to the Coventry Transport Museum is completely free, okay? But they do sell, you know, um, what do you call them, things that tourists take up. Boy, I forgot the name now, but it's... I'm good, I know it sounds really stupid, but here you go. Right, so... As I said, these are all old um, vehicles, okay? So you can find out what it used to be like to be very rich and have a very expensive car in the past without actually ever owning one. These are the penny farthing bikes, I believe. These are some very old cars, okay? Many of them would have been built in this city. These are some more bikes. I haven't got time to look at all the exhibits because the battery is running out, so I'm just going to show you the vehicles briefly. That's stuff on the okay. So I'm trying to find my way around here because I think we've closed some area right an area off, so wait a minute. Also I'm running out of battery on here, so I'm trying to do this quickly. I mean the battery's running out, but bad, bad bad grammar what I said. The um, famous black cab taxis were made in Coventry and still are. These are various sort of cars, I'm not an expert on cars, but that looked like a taxi, but I could be wrong. Um, what's a taxi even? No, these are various taxis. But you can even see it's got taxi written on it. The, This is the special two-tone taxi, um, which is um, sometimes you get in here with a former pop star or something like that, I believe, um, if you pay for the journey. I know it looks strange, but it's a real taxi. No idea what this is, but there you go. I think these are um, taxis from New York, they've been brought over here I believe, 
maybe there's an exchange where we send some of our ta old taxis over to America and they send some of their old taxis over here for us to look at. Um, but I do know the black cabs you see are British. Oh, was it souvenirs? Yes, so you can, there's some souvenirs you can buy, but I believe these aren't souvenirs. Um, You know, they used to be an upstairs, which is why I'm baffled because they used to be a lot more than this. Um, they used to have buses and other things. It was the foundation of a thriving little sewing machine industry in the city, which is where things really started. Because in 1868, a sewing machine factory called the Coventry Machinists built this Coventry's first philosophy. And that's what I've told I think I'm just repeating myself. Yeah, that was it. There was an area there, but it's been closed off. in here but I can't you're not allowed to look in, in here apparently so it says staff only so I don't know why but maybe they've closed some of it down there's some others you can't go in here but you can look They used to have a tank in here as well at one stage. This new breed of car engine was highly skilled and paid pretty well by the standards of the time. It's Spectrum to London, a thrilling contest that pits every mode of popular transport. Okay, as I said, usually it's it has been better than this in the past, but um I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're closing it and doing some renovation work, I've no idea. I think these are some more, I think, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is the motorbikes from old motorbikes. Again, more motorbikes.
Here, here's the tank. Right. Here's the tank. This is a real genuine tank. I don't know when it was used, I'm too lazy to... Whatever it is, it's a Daimler tank, so there you go. That was one of our tanks that was apparently used in World War II, apparently, or one of the type of tanks that would have been used in World War II, okay? With any military um, enthusiasts, okay? Another car? Oh, yes, I believe it's a fire engine, an old fire engine. No idea what's here, no idea at all. Okay, here's our tank. It's not really dangerous, it's just meant to look like this as an exhibit. As I said, you have to be really, really rich to own these kind of things. You'd laugh now, and you probably even wouldn't, if you could drive, you probably even want, wouldn't want most of these kind of cars, but once you would have to be very rich to have them. This is showing you a section of a car. The way it would actually look like inside. 